my name is Jobby, and today we're taking a look at the Transformers Generations Rat Trap. He comes packaged in his robot mode, but I'm gonna start him off as a rat because I want to. The sculpted texture on his fur is really well done. I like how this orange fades into his butt, and the feet and the tail are a realistic shade of pink. And the tail is poseable. And the tail could have been longer. Also, I don't think rats look like... this. This looks more like a bear than anything else. I mean, you ever look at a rat's face? Freaking horrible. It's not even show accurate. But I guess because it's a boy's toy, it can't be a cute, realistic rat. It's gotta be a extreme rat. Let's do some size comparisons. Dinobot Snarl, SH Monster Arts Godzilla, and the Voyager class Rhinox. Now here's a cool thing you could do in rat mode. The head seems to be built to bend forward so you could stand him up and replicate his appearance in the show. Kind of. I mean, you do get a lot of robot kibble under here. Ooh boy, this rat is packing heat! And speaking of robot kibble, why don't we get him transformed? Red trip, next to me! His transformation is fun and really complex, a huge step up from the original 90s toy. Such an ingenious idea to stuff his gun in his rat hole. Then you flip his head down and there you go. And this is a great robot mode. The head sculpt is incredibly show accurate and it's appropriately ugly as fuck. And it's got excellent pipe lighting. A lot of great mechanical detail and check out these maximal symbols. Really tiny but really clean. And his toes are really well sculpted but somewhat... disturbing. And his ankles are sculpted at kind of an angle. Was that just me? Am I seeing things? Guess it's to compensate for his lack of ankle articulation. This makes it pretty hard to get dynamic poses seeing as there's no ankle pivot to support wide stances. And that's where the tail comes in. The tail can help him stand, acting as a third leg. But the rest of this posability is pretty good. The head can rotate 360. The shoulders are technically on ball joints, but they act more like a swivel. Move in and out. Swivel here. A tiny bend at the elbow and sadly no wrist articulation. And not really posability, but he can hold his gun, of course. And the gun can split into two and holy crap, that blew my mind. And on his left arm, you can flip up this panel to reveal a pair of binoculars. Or... Is it a bomb? No waist articulation, ball joint at the hip, swivel here, bend at the knee, bend forward at the knee, and that's it. Size comparison part two. Dinobot Snarl, SH Monster Arts Godzilla, and Generations Rhinox, and these two look great together. So overall, this is a fun and great looking figure that I wish had more posability. But if you're a fan of Beast Wars, you should definitely pick this one up or you already have it, which makes this video pointless. What is my life? So before I ask you to subscribe, which you should, let me give you a little update. Recently, I pre-ordered the X-Transbots Apollyon, which is pretty much an unofficial masterpiece Megatron, and oh, does it look great. <sighs> I'm extremely excited for this figure, and when it's released, hopefully later this month, expect a longer than usual review of it, because I want to thoroughly enjoy myself. Also, I ordered the DC Collectibles Animated Joker, the Figma Satsuki, and of course the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2000 Millennium Recolor. <laughs> so if you like this video, give me a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe for more toy reviews. Also, check out my other videos if you're in the mood. And follow me on Facebook and Google Plus for updates on the figures I'll review. I'll see you next time. I don't know what to review anymore! It is written, only Link can defeat Ganon. Squadala, we are off!